Hi there beautiful people, welcome back and today we are going to make a reusable panty liner. So this one right here is a reusable napkin or pad. This one is the absorbent side. It has its snap buttons and on the other side is a very colorful design. This design is called the kimono and this pad is for free when I bought this menstrual cup. So this is the one that I'm using already in the reusable pad. I have another cup which is from the brand Intimina. This one is more expensive than the other one and it's collapsible with a very pretty color. It's smaller than the other one so I use the other one more than the Intimina. Reusable pads can save us money and also it is more environment friendly. First, we are going to make our pattern and let's prepare a 7 by 7 inches paper like so and then fold it in half like what I'm doing right now. And now, get your ruler and a pencil and from the fold, you have to measure 1.5 inches. After making that mark, we have to fold it again in half, like so. And then again, from the fold, we have to measure 3 fourths of an inch. Next, let's go ahead and curve this part so that it will look like a regular panty liner and also on this part where the wings would be. And after that, let's go ahead and cut the pattern. So this is already our pattern and we're going to make a different one for the insert. I guess that's what you call it. You can just use this one but I hate making a lot of fold in my pattern so we're going to make another one. So in here I am just trimming the wings a bit. It's not necessary but if you want you can also do it. So if we are going to compare the panty liner with the reusable pad, the panty liner pattern is smaller. Prepare another paper that measures 2 and 7 eighths of an inch by 7 inches and then fold it in half and then fold it one more time. We also have to make it curved like the pattern that we made before. We have to make sure that the insert or the one that we are going to put inside is the same size or even smaller than the pattern that we made before. And for the fabric, I am going to use this old t-shirt. I barely used this before so it's still in very good condition. This will be the one that's going to touch the skin. And for the back, I am going to use this fabric. And if you have seen my other video, this is the one that I have used in there. And for another layer inside, which I have referred as the insert, I'm going to use the t-shirt. I have already cut the fabric and as you can see, I have also included a seam allowance, which I usually don't include in my pattern if you have observed in my other videos. So I have cut one for this fabric and two for the insert. And now let's go and cut the fabric for the back of the panty liner. Now that we already have the complete set, we are now ready to sew the insert onto the top fabric. The wrong side of the top fabric should be facing you and then just put on top of it the two layers of insert. And then let's go ahead to our machine and then sew it together. So this is how it looks like after attaching them together. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine is a bit wonky. And now we are going to attach the back fabric. 
the right sides should be facing together and then we're just going to sew it all around and we have to remember to keep a gap so that we will be able to turn the inside out later. Before I'm going to turn it inside out, I'm just going to trim the edges and also make small cuts on the corners so that it will lay flat later on. So I have kept this part open so that I'll be able to turn it inside out. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to use this scissor to poke the edges so that it will lay flat. Then to close the gap, we have to top stitch it all around. So this is how it looks like guys after the top stitch and it looks much better. It is very important to do it because it will make the panty liner more flat and it's not perfect, I know, but I'm happy because this is the first time that I'm going to do this one. And the only thing that we're going to do now is to put the snap buttons. So this is the set of snap buttons with hand press pliers that I have recently purchased on Shopee. This is the cheapest one that I was able to find and I really love the color. So this will be the first time that I'm going to use it so good luck to me. And I'm going to use these white snap buttons. I have successfully attached the other part of the button on one side and I have to get my reusable pad as a reference to avoid mistakes. So after piercing the fabric, just go ahead and put the matching parts of the button and then put it in between the pliers and then press it hard. So that's how easy it is to use these pliers and you can make a lot of projects using it. And this is how the finished product looks like guys. I hope you like it as much as I do. I enjoyed making this one and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Till the next one, bye!